install Magic Lantern coming up next. Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about installing the Magic Lantern firmware for Canons. Now, before you get started on this, you have to realize you're doing this at your own risk because this is a firmware upgrade and while it does go good for most people most of the time, I just want you to be sure that you're comfortable doing this and if you get stuck and it doesn't work, well, that's your problem, okay? Some of the features that I was looking for with Magic Lantern was uh, time-lapse photography and this has the intervalometer built inside of the, the firmware which is uh, very nice and it has a whole bunch of other nice features that are there and I recommend you going to uh, magiclantern.fm and uh, take a look and browse around there and do some reading. The one thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the install guide and visit the install guide and read this very carefully. Now one of the problems that I had, I'm just going to share a couple of tips and tricks that I found during my install process that might help you. And that is that uh, the troubleshooting part, I, I came to a part where it said if the card LED blinks continuously after running the firmware upgrade, you don't have the right Canon firmware version or subversion. Well what I had was the wrong subversion because when I was looking at this I, I saw that it was recommending that I needed uh, firmware version 109. I looked at my camera. My camera said it was 109 but apparently I had the wrong subversion. So before you even get started with it uh, go to here and download the correct Canon firmware for your Canon camera and uh, just get that uh, installed the very first step. Uh, I have a, a Canon T2i and so this is my firmware so what you would do is you would uh, right click on it say copy and then paste it to your SD card on the root of your SD card. When it's not in the manual mode your menu options aren't the same so I'm gonna right now it's in the uh, auto mode, I'm going to turn it to manual, you'll notice that there will be some more menu options that appear up here. And turn it to the M manual mode. Now we see more menu options than we did before. And the one thing that we're trying to uh, f do for the firmware upgrade is we have to get over to where you actually see the firmware. And right now uh, my camera has already been updated to the Magic Lantern version, but this is where you would do your first step your first step is to first update the camera firmware before you even get started so you would go to this menu and then you would press that uh, button say OK or set excuse me it's set on uh, on the camera and then it'll display the current version now even when mine said 109 I went ahead and I updated the Canon firmware version first then you would just go to here and say OK and it would update the firmware. To access the Magic Lantern software after you've installed it, uh, you have to press the uh, trash can icon. You cannot press the trash can icon while it's in the menu mode. You have to go back to the display mode, press that, and then you'll be able to see it. Now, I, I understand the steps that I outlined are kind of vague. I want you to go to the website and review the steps there for uh, installing the Magic Lantern software. I, I wanted to show you a couple of the, the pitfalls that I ran into. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.